in the first, uh, first video which I recorded uh, of the first challenge which I spoke, I was speaking mostly on start. And in this second video which I'll be talking to you, I'm just going to, to, to speak a lot about being serious. Because um, this seriousness I differentiate us from those people who are performers and those who are mediocre. When I say performers, those are people who at the end, they bring out the result which is required. And there are people who start but become mediocre, I mean that they are doing just, they, they, at the end they are not producing, they are producing nothing, but they are in, they, they are in industry, but they are not just that, that much productive. So, getting started, that is one point, but it, getting serious is another thing in, the, in life of uh, being productive. So, uh, if you really uh, want to, to, to produce something of desired uh, outcome, you really need to be serious. Being serious means that you, uh, you need to really commit yourself that you want to do something out of it that people will get value of what you are doing and at the same time, yourself you recognize that you are getting value of what you are doing. Because out of no seriousness, there is no way you are going to get something good out of it. Therefore, getting serious means that you are investing your time clearly, that you, your time is not distracted. If you are going to do a work, we say do deep work, means that you don't connect yourself to other small, small business. You have to be very clear with your goals. You have to be very clear and with, with time management. As long as you are doing your thing, you have to make sure that you are accomplishing them in the right time. You are arranging the, the, the plan for meeting, if it is the meeting, you have to arrange them in accordance to the timetable that you have planned. So getting serious for sure is very important and one of the very important components of becoming productive in life. If you want to get serious, means automatically nothing will be produced out of it. For example, a writer, when he wants to start maybe writing a book about a certain, uh, certain topic, maybe let me speak of happiness. If I want to write a book about happiness, first of all, I have to get serious to understand the material. I have to understand what are the challenges which are facing people to, to, to be sad, maybe to be unhappy. So getting serious on that aspect means that I have to do research. I have to seek information regarding uh, 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 happiness. Maybe I have to go to the internet search and find out if, uh, what, what, what are the major challenges which keep people out of seriousness. And again, the same scenario, I have to go in detail and read the literatures about, serious, about happiness. I have to understand really what are the things which can make people happy. So I have to, uh, to go and, and a massive a series of uh, 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 articles regarding uh, happiness. At the same time, my serious and, and as again, I have to invest time that I can note some important points from different authors, from different people whom I, I'm going to interview in such a way that I'm going to extract those very important aspects. In, in, when I'm writing the same that book, I, it has to get enough information so that it can have value in the hand of people who want to read it. At the same time, I have to search for the market of that book, if a book which I want to just make it as part of my entrepreneurship. I have to make sure that I'm searching an enough way of knowing who I will be in need of the, of the book, who will be in need of that particular material. So, searching also knowing people who are going to consume your material, that is another part of seriousness. Because at the end, if you produce material, but there is no way you understand the market of that particular material, that means that you have lost the power that you have invested on that particular area. So, being seriousness again, developing seriousness again means that you are doing something that you know it is going to add the value to the people who are going to use your material, and at the same time, it is going to add value in your life. Because uh, if you are doing something which doesn't uh, add value either to people who are going to, to take that material or to yourself, automatically at the end you're going to fail. So being serious also involves that. And again, uh, being serious on that particular, I was talking of on happiness in topic, it has, to be, it has to be your own. Though when you start maybe happiness, is not, you are not that much aware of happiness. But as, as long as you have selected that will be topic of interest, you have to dip yourself inside to understand exactly what is happening with happiness. Maybe you have to understand the psychology of happiness. You have to understand what, 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 how, how happiness has been explained maybe in a Bible aspect. How happiness will be attained maybe when people are in different tribulations, different problems. How people, how people can, can, can search for happiness. 
or how people they can also maybe restore happiness when it is lost. Therefore, being serious means that he, he understanding your thing, understanding your material, understanding your topic, understanding your theme, understanding your objective clearly, and again, having all those necessary information which will enable you at the end to deliver the product which is powerful, which will enable you to face the world with confidence. That's very important. Today, I will just finish up there and follow me to the next series. Jeremiah Pusa, Mentoring and Coaching Institute.